I've been a photojournalist for the last couple of decades and uh, I had both the fortune and the misfortune of witnessing history being made from the front row. India has made a lot of progress in the last decade in several fields like IT, uh, sports, uh, business, but it also has seen a share of miseries. Quite a few of them are disasters which are uh, act of nature, but a few of them which are man-made, they definitely are the worst. And therefore, the Gujarat rise is in my memory the worst of it all. Among all the negative news we have to cover, cricket always brings a smile to our face, especially when India is winning. You know? And I think the uh, the highlight of uh, India's uh, victories in cricket has been the the win in T20 World Cup. And you can see in the picture the kind of reception they got when they returned to India on a rooftop open uh, bus. That's they went through Marine Drive and they were thronged with thousands of people on the street who had come there to welcome the team. And then there was the Friendship Series in 2004. When India went on the Friendship Series in pa to Pakistan and we won our first Test Series there. When Sachin Tendulkar is hitting a boundary, Pakistan is getting up and they are applauding us. And we were given a very warm welcome. So that was um, another event which I'll remember. Last year when the attacks happened in Mumbai, it was I could hear from the sounds, the explosions from my house that people were dining there, Taj Hotel, where we used to go every day for press conferences and this and that. And there are grenades being lobbed inside, where people are dying inside. And so is the case of the uh, Victoria Terminal Station and Oberoi's. It was a quite a different kind of experience. Not all events are visually dramatic. But they are very dramatic nevertheless. As you would know, the recession which was the meltdown, economic meltdown. But I think recession has been a big uh, economic story. Dramatic, not so visually, but very dramatic in our lives. That made us all proud in India was the nano car, which hit the roads recently. And uh, I was lucky to have recorded, uh, you know, from the time uh, it was promised that it would hit the roads and it actually hitting the roads and being seen in the roads in the middle of the Mumbai traffic jam for the first time. So that I think makes all of us quite proud in India for the nano. It's absolutely Indian. <laughs>